is Griffin Bass with GoMustangSports.com. I'm here with Stevenson men's soccer head coach Graham Miller after Stevenson, uh, Stevenson falls 1-0 to nil to Johns Hopkins. A tough loss, coach. It came down to the very end. Nolan Olsen-Warwick, uh, 10 saves. Any, uh, what, what, what other positives can you take away in a, in a game like that? Well, I mean, I think uh, the, the, the way we played, the shape, the, the goalkeeper, obviously, Nolan had a great week last week. Um, you know, I think he was inches away from making a save. It was a great shot from the Hopkins player. I mean, I could see the angle of it. So Nolan's been outstanding. I thought the defense, I mean, to be able to keep them, you know, until whatever it was, 70 or something minute um, without a goal is a testament. I mean, we've had two shutouts, two clean sheets the last two games. Um, so there's a lot of positives, and it just depends on how you look at it. And I think some of our guys be a little down. We haven't scored again. Start to get a feel like, oh, well, we're, you know, you know, get a little bit. You know, nervous in front of the goal, a little bit um, not composed. So we'll we'll keep working on the offensive side, but lots to be pleased with in the midfield and the defense and the goalie. How does a strong non-conference opponent like Johns Hopkins get get you prepared for uh, the rest of the season? Yeah, well, that's going to be. Um, it's, they're very similar to Messiah. You know, they want the ball, they want to keep possession, they want to. They have a lot of good movement, a lot of obviously talented players. So that's why Hopkins have always been on my schedule. It's a it's a test for, you know, the best team that we're going to see. That's why they were picked, obviously, f to finish first in the Centennial. And uh, you know, they've got a lot of fifth year seniors out there, a lot of experience. And I thought our young guys held up well. And you know, just another great game on this field. And um, it was nice to have the the young kids from Freedom Optimist out here. And I thought. I thought it was a great atmosphere, another great occasion, and we just, you know, they played the game plan well, and, and, and the goals will come. We just got to try and get, get somebody with a killer instinct and, and put it back in there. Gotcha. Uh, next time you are on this field, it will be conference play. What, uh, what, two, what, what things are you trying to work on in the final two non-conference matchups? Well, scoring goals, number one, right? Uh, yeah, these next two will be tough again. Marymount picked to win the uh, Atlantic East. And, uh, and then you've got uh, Mary Washington, who's number one in the country right now. So those two games are just a, another two tough tests on the road and to get us ready for conference. And obviously we'll be looking to do the same thing defensively and then, uh, you know, finish in the back of the net. Thanks a lot, Coach. Good luck in those two, and I can't wait to see you back here. Thanks, buddy.